If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Today we're going to do something a little bit different, and that's a product review. Now, recently I was contacted by Michael Knowles of Atlas Camera Support, and he asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing one of his products, the Lightweight Atlas Camera Support System, which is designed for cameras one to five pounds. Naturally, I agreed. So I went to the Atlas Camera Support website, atlascamerasupport.com, to see what I was getting myself into. And sure enough, it was a rig that attaches to your body via a special harness. And there's a fishing pole type device that comes over one shoulder and you dangle your camera from it. Apparently making it float in midair. The website has lots of diagrams and pictures, reviews, videos, all kinds of stuff to tell you how to set up and do things properly. And uh, lots of good information. Now this is my unbagging of the stuff that came in the mail. It comes with a uh, sturdy, decently sturdy bag with all kinds of uh, Atlas camera support stuff. Uh, all falls out rather quickly and nicely, including the instructions. And what you get is this uh, harness right here. You get a couple uh, transparent plastic tubes, one long, one short. You get a pair of fiberglass rods, one's thicker than the other, one's giving different spring tensions. And you get this uh, leash type thing right here and an instruction card. Now on said instruction sheet you get a picture of these two dudes right here. The guy on the left is using his uh, Atlas camera support with just his camera. It's a little teeny uh, camcorder like mine actually. But I didn't really have any interest in trying that. I prefer the guy on the right. He's got his, uh, looks like a DSLR turned sideways on his Optica X-Grip stabilizer using it as some kind of a fig rig device and I said hey I've got a PVC stabilizer I use like a fig rig so I was much more interested in using it in that configuration so that's how I set it up and setting things up on your rig is rather easy you just take this little dog leash dog collar type deal and lash it to the top handle of your stabilizer device to a point where it balances that was super easy and done quickly I then went about constructing the rest of the support system to wear on my body the first thing I did was put one of the fiberglass rods inside one of the plastic tubes and then inserted the tube into the narrow sleeve on the harness, on the back of the harness actually. Now the uh, rod tube combination gives you four choices. You've got skinny rod with short tube or skinny rod with long tube or medium sized rod with long tube, medium sized rod with short tube. I ended up using medium sized rod with long tube which was the maximum amount of spring since I was kind of maxing out the weight of the whole rig by using my PVC stabilizer, which upped the weight of the camera to around four or five pounds, which was the maximum limit of the lightweight configuration. Then I just took my camera, or my rig, with the leash attached and attached it to the loop on the top of the rod. The weight was immediately lifted from my camera, and I grabbed it with two hands and I was off. Okay, so how does it perform? Well, here I am following the FedEx guy, and as you can see, there's some bounce in the shot. Now, this is some of my earliest test footage, so of course it's gonna look the worst, but uh, the bounce is there. It's a, you're wearing a giant spring, and you have a camera attached to that spring, so it's gonna translate. Uh, the best thing you can do is practice, and things will get better, as with any kind of device of this ilk. Practice makes perfect. Um, and also, if you're a self-conscious uh, shooter, this rig might not be for you because you do look a little bit silly wearing it, but if it's not a big deal to you, then and it shouldn't be, then that's no problem. Uh, yeah. um, the good news is, is that it's well constructed. I didn't see any kind of breakage or tearing in any of the parts after wearing it for a while. And uh, one thing I really liked about it was the weightless feel it gives your camera rig. It's really nice not having any uh, downward pressure on your arms when you're using this thing. So I really like that. The downside of that is, is that as the instructions say, you're never supposed to let go of your rig always keep your hands on it at all Goofy. times. The only way to really take a break, I guess, is to unlatch it from the loop attached to the pole. So don't ever do this. Now I think we should be clear on something here. The Atlas camera support uh, is not a camera stabilizer per se. It's a camera support system, just like the name indicates. It will lift the weight of the camera off of your body, allowing you to run your rig for long periods of time without fatigue. If you're looking for a true camera stabilizer, you might want to look at something like the Flycam Nano, which is a glide cam inspired device. 
you can find on eBay for roughly the same price, about $150. But if you're going to be running a camera on a fig rig type device all day and you want some help, then the Atlas camera support definitely fits that bill. The lightweight version is for cameras one to five pounds and it costs, again, $150. You can find all sizes of the Atlas camera support on their website, which is atlascamerasupport.com. See you next time. What? Oh, I got you guys, we're done. <laughs>